Welcome guys, thank you for watching this video, but before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, share it to all of your friends, and also check out the description for further information guys. And now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to today's video, and in this video we are going to fix the inventory system, hopefully, and many of you have been reporting this bug right here, so let me just demonstrate this to you. So as you can see, everything seems to be normal, and if we take a look inside of our inventory, it says that we only have one character, okay? Now, if we take a look inside of our tower inventory folder, it says that we have a bunch of characters inside or towers inside which are not displayed right here okay so that's basically an he that's basically a huge issue and i think that if i would try to okay so that would work out so basically this this tower inventory updater script is not working okay and this leads you guys to the conclusion that the whole system does not work when it's only the display update here, you know? Okay, so how are we going to fix that one? Or what is the issue? So if we take a look inside of our output right here, it says that infinite yield is possible on, what is it, towers, wait for child, empty, okay? So there is, there is an issue with this empty thing. And as you can see, we do have an entry called empty. And as you guys know, those entries inside of the inventory are basically displaying the characters. And the issue now is that the script thinks that empty is supposed to be a character or a tower and therefore looks for that one inside of this towers folder. But there is, of course, nothing called empty. There is no tower called empty. Therefore, it just waits and pauses the script at that point till there is something called empty. Now, if I would create something called empty let's say from the service perspective of course so it can be anything it can also be a port and if if we would call this one empty then then what okay then nothing happens but okay 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 something has changed yeah now now it throws out the next error but you you guys you guys see that it has to do with this empty empty entry right here okay but the reason is that or the reason or the next question is how did this empty thing even get inside of our tower inventory right here so how how did that happen and let me demonstrate this to you so let me test this out again and i'm going to clear up or let's say i'm going to fix my inventory at that point just to be able to show this to you so tower inventory let's delete this empty value and we also need to turn one of these to empty so let's say that our come on our second tower is empty okay now let's wait did i did i integrate something or did i implement a a, a manual save thing so that i'm able to manually save my stuff probably not yeah, okay it, i didn't i didn't do that but it should also work when i just stop everything all right now let's play again and let's hope that it actually took over my changes. Okay, it did, it did. Okay, perfect. Now our inventory works again, or works fine now, because we have removed that empty value, as you can see. Alright, so now how did this empty value even get inside of those entries? And my personal theory is that when you try to override your your tower inside of your inventory with one of those empty hotbars or those you know those those towers down here those equipped towers so when you try to uh, replace this one with this one which is currently empty then what happens is that it clones that empty entry inside of your tower inventory thinking that it is supposed to be a tower and it is of course not a tower you know <laughs> so how can we fix that let me get rid of this one so how can we fix that guys and i'm going to show you how this is going to work out also let me let me turn this back to empty just to be able to demonstrate the fix later on and let me stop this thing 
And yeah. Okay. So let's go instead of our, I think it must be menu. Yeah. Action frame. Local script. There we go. Okay. So remote. So it basically fire servers this server remote event. Okay. Server. And come on. Too many. Way too many scripts. Uh, change. All right. So let's take a look at this change task right there. Okay. There we go. All right, all right, all right. So that's basically the code which creates all of those entries when replacing the tower from your inventory with the tower which is currently being equipped. You know, so if you if you want to equip your tower right here, you need to um, put one of those e equipped towers back inside of your inventory. And the issue is that the script thinks that this empty entry right there is supposed to be a tower. And we now need to tell the script that it, of course, is not a tower and should be ignored. How is this going to work out? We basically just need to add a check. So if um, value, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, if so, this one basically refers to the tower's name, let's say. So if the tower's name is not Okay, so this expresses is not empty. Then, and then it will just continue with creating a tower entry instead of our tower inventory. And that's actually it, guys. That's the whole fix for this problem. So let's test this out again. Well, at least I think that this should be this should be fixing everything. So let's take a look right here again. Inventory. Let's try to equip our gear fourth. And as you can see, nothing has been created. So no empty or anything else. Okay, so we now have looks of three Naruto's. Okay, okay. Let's try to add a wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we currently have six Zoros. Let me try to wait. Let me just get rid of some of them right here. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, it does not work. I have to yeah, stop this again. Yeah, so it only threw out this those errors because I have I have done something pretty unexpected for a script and of course that is not going to be performed or no, no other player is going to be able to perform that. Therefore, you can just forget forget about these errors. All right, so we have this empty value right here. And now if we would, yeah, put this onto our tower two, as you can see, no more entries being created. No more tower is being represented. The tower is just being applied to the former empty spot. And that's actually what we wanted to achieve in the first place. And we have now fixed this error, as you can see. My inventory works fine. Let's let's try out all of these shops and the tower summoner. So let's try these things out. As you can see, it works fine. Now let me try out the summoner. No, wait, summoner was actually this thing right here. We'll do something. Yeah, okay, so I only have eight gems. Okay, let me try a single summon. Yeah, gear four. Come on. And there we go. Okay, so that's actually it with the fix, guys. I'm pretty sorry that you had to exper experience those errors, but we have now finally fixed them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. If you have liked this video, and if you have other friends which ex which have experienced the same error on my tower defense series, then Share this video to them and share this video to all of your other friends so they know about this tower defense series and they can finally start making their own game and earn their own Robux, guys. Alright, thank you for your support, take care and see you in the next video.